Bengla Current. The Bengla Current is the broad, northward flowing ocean current that forms the eastern portion of the South Atlantic Ocean Gyre. The current extends from roughly Cape Point in the south to the position of the angle of Bengla Front in the north at around 16 degs. The current is driven by the prevailing southeasterly trade winds. Inshore of the Bengla Current proper, the southeasterly winds drive coastal upwelling, forming the Bengla Upwelling System. The cold, nutrient-rich waters that upwell from around 200-300 and 656-984 FD depth in turn fuel high rates of phytoplankton growth and sustain the productive Bengla ecosystem. Boundaries Source waters for the Bengla include cold upwelled waters from the depths of the Atlantic Ocean close inshore, joined further offshore by nutrient-poor water that has crossed the southern Atlantic from South America as part of South Atlantic Gyre. Eddies from the warm South Indian Ocean Agal has current along South Africa's east coast come round the Cape of Good Hope from time. The Bengla current is 200 to 300 km wide and widens further as it flows north and northwest. Its western seaward edge is well defined, with many temporary and seasonal eddies and meanders. There is, however, a well-defined thermal front between the waters associated with the Bengla upwelling system and those of the eastward-flowing Atlantic currents, which are not deflected northward by the African continent. The icy Bengla and the warm south-flowing Egal has current do not meet off the Cape of Good Hope Sea diagram on the right, above, but there is a body of water off the South African south coast, East and particularly west of Cape Abel has that consists of eddies from both currents, so that offshore water temperatures along the south coast of Africa vary chaotically. Upwelling and primary production Northward winds along the coast result in Ekman transport offshore and upwelling of nutrient-rich deep water to the euphotic zone. The intensity of the upwelling event is determined by wind strength. Variations in wind strength result in pulses of upwelling, which propagate to the south along the coast with speeds of 5 to 8 m slash s. The pulses are similar to a Kelvin wave, except on a scale of 30 to 60 km instead of 1000 km, and can propagate around the Cape depending on wind systems. Pulses of upwelling induce biological production. In the Bengla system, phytoplankton growth requires a period of upwelling followed by a period of stratification and relatively calm waters. The phytoplankton bloom usually lags the upwelling event by one to four days and blooms for four to ten days. In order for zooplankton to have a continuous food supply, the phytoplankton blooms must not occur too far apart. Pulses of upwelling in the Bengla system regularly have a duration of ten days, an optimal period for biological production. It is estimated that the annual biomass production in the Bengla system is 4.7 extant, 13 GC slash Y, making the Bengla system 30 to 65 times more productive per unit area than the global ocean average. While upwelling promotes abundant primary and secondary production in the upper parts of the water column and near the coast, deeper waters with limited oxygen exchange create hyposic areas called oxygen minimum zones at the coastal shelf and upper coastal slope. The Bengla oxygen minimum zone starts around a depth of 100 m and is a few hundred meters thick. Bacteria that use sulfur rather than oxygen, called sulfur-reducing bacteria, reside in the oxygen minimum zone. The most abundant fishes in the Bengla system are sardineps and ingrales. The southern African pilchard S.S. Ocelatus was intensely fished in the 1950s and peaking in 1968, with landings over 1.3 million tons. Since then, fishery of the sardineps has declined and fishery of the southern African anchovy in Grawley's Capesis has taken over. Bengla Nino Similar to the Pacific El Nino, a thick slab of warm, nutrient-poor water enters the northern part of the Bengla upwelling system off the Namibia coast about once per decade. During the Bengla Nino warm, salty waters from the Angola current move southward, between 15 deg s and 25 deg s. This slab of warm, salty water extends to 150 km 93 mi offshore and to 50 m 164 ft depth. 
heavy rains changes in fish abundance, and temporal proximity to the Pacific El Nino have been observed, however, the causes and effects of the Bengla Nino are not well understood. One research team has shown that the Bengla Nino is caused by winds in the west-central equatorial Atlantic Ocean that propagate as subsurface sea temperature anomalies to the African coast. A recent study has demonstrated the importance of local winds in the development of the Bengla Nino off the coast of Namibia and Angola. This local process together with the remote signal from the equatorial regions formed the basis of the formation mechanism in which both processes sometimes reinforce each other.